Hey, good evening, good evening, everybody. Uh, just, um, just adding everyone into the call. Um, at, I have to personally admit everyone, uh, and there are uh, loads of people um, uh, I've been able to drop in. Um, so I'm just adding everyone in. But welcome, guys. You're in the right space. Um, so we're going to have a bit of uh, a bit of crack here tonight. Um, so that's cool. Um, everyone's dropping in. Loads, cheese, sir. Guys, good to see you all coming in this evening. Um, lovely to have you on. I'll join me. Admit another one joining. Um, see if I can actually find a quick way of doing this and just admitting all. Um, hey, John, I wonder if I can. Uh, all right. Um, Um, yeah, John, you should be able to speak and test your mic there. Yep. Uh, hopefully you can all hear me. Uh, lots of people joining in, which is great. Yeah, cool. I see you there, John. Um, I'll tell you what, Roger, you handle it. I'll look after the chat and all. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let me just see. It's still it's still just uh, asking me. Hi, to, Danielle. Hope you're well. Uh, asking me to let everyone in. Yeah, I'm going to close the chat window so I can see everyone else going on there. Okay, guys. Um, so we only have um, we only have um, forty uh, minutes this evening. So um, uh, what I wanted to do is uh, quickly run you guys through um, through a system that uh, that I use uh, to manage my my property business. Um, you know, uh, things that allow me to never miss a follow up. Things that allow me to make sure I know where all my stuff is. I know where I am on each property. I know where I am on each listing. I know where I am on each project, and I all run it from one space. And the beauty is that it's all free. Um, that's the really nice thing about the software that I'm gonna show you. So I've set up my computer to be able to, to screen share um, some stuff with you guys all this evening. Um, but first, let's, um, let's just have an introduction to who we are. Um, so uh, on the call this evening, guys, um, if, um, John, can you see my screen okay now? Yeah, okay, cool. Yes, I can, um, yes, I can. Okay, cool. that's all fine. Um, yeah, so um, uh, if you guys, could, John can see my, um, my screen there, um, so that's cool. Um, and uh, just so you guys know where we come from, if you're the first time jumping with us, we normally run our, um, our events off Webinar Jam, uh, but we decided to jump onto Zoom tonight because I'm able just to share a bit more fluidly. I'm, a, I, I, I'm used to it a bit more, um, so that's a bit easier why, why I'm using this this evening. But um, John and I are the uh, founders of Source My Property, a, a property sourcing company. Uh, we started down here in South Wales where I live and John lives in London. Uh, and then our business grew to an academy branch of, of our company and that is Source My Property Academy. Uh, and we actually just um, uh, teach people to become property sources like we do. Uh, and as part of that process and especially over the COVID-19 lockdown, we've been doing a load of free online training to help people in their own property journey. Uh, and that's where we are this evening. And um, we just overlook so often the value of this software that it does for me and my business and how, how easy it is just to share something with you guys that's completely free that um, absolutely revolutionized the way we run our property business. Um, so that is what, um, what we are going to go um, over uh, with you guys this evening. So I need to stop share and then reshare to show you what um, I need to look at next. So. Um, the first thing I want to show you guys is um, Airtable. Um, Airtable is this piece of software that I use, which is completely free. Um, and that wasn't the um, one I wanted to share with you. It is completely free uh, piece of software to use. Uh, and John, can you see our um, Airtable sheet right now? Yes, I can. Cool. Okay. So yeah, this is what Airtable looks like, guys. And it's a, it's a little desktop app. You can run it from your mobile phone. You can run it from your um, um, smartphone. You can run it from your tablet. You can run it from a desktop. It's, it's across all devices, Android, everything. And just to give you an example of like some of the things that I use it for, you can see there, I use it for uh, facilities management. If I click on that one, you can see here, I, this is where I'm assigning tasks to my builders. Uh, and they also have the software. So when they get notified of a task, um, they get to assign that task. 
I'm assigning tasks to project managers. I've got my project pipeline. So just a basic, basic spreadsheet there. I also use it to track my personal finances. Um, I used to track um, accounts when how I move money between different accounts. So I know where all my money is at all one times. Um, I have my property business in it there. This is where I list all my mortgages, their due dates, their, you know, if, you, if you've ever done bridging finance and you want to uh, export a document which your the lender needs, what mortgage you have, when the due dates are, what the interest rates are, I keep it all, I keep it all there. We even do uh, co cash flow uh, coordination through this software and I'll show you some really interesting stuff. But the main thing that we do is we run our property business from this software, which is this, which is this little tab down here. And this is John and my um, property business. And you can see here, these are all the properties that we're kind of looking at at the moment. These are the ones that are on the market that we want to go and view. Um, these are the ones that we've actually booked in to go and view next. Um, you know, these ones uh, I'm busy uh, offering on those properties. Uh, and um, let me just add these all. And then uh, this, this is this a whole list of properties in here as well. We've got all of our contacts of every single person that we work with in property. We've got an activities tab of how we, how we run our viewings. We've got a clients tab where we keep all our clients information. We've got a deals tab. We run our current deals and I'm just spinning over these quickly because I don't want to give away any sense of information, but that's just a kind of a, a little brief introduction of like what it can do. But now um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I use it. So let's share that. Okay. So what I have here is I've taken um, a little uh, a base, uh, what, what it's called a base, and I've got a property business one. This, this base over here is blank, and this is the one that I'm going to share with you guys afterwards uh, so that you can get running in your own, in your own base if, if you want to use it, and I'll send you a link out to be able to actually use that. Um, so this is what I'm going to start from the beginning of how I would use mine as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my contacts tab uh, on, on my Airtable base. And let's say I'm gonna go, I wanna go and view this property, okay? This is just down the road from me. Um, I did really want this property, um, but it um, is now sold. Uh, so I'm gonna, first of all, thing when I wanna make viewings, right, I'm gonna be putting in um, the, um, the, uh, the person's details um, that I'm dealing with. Um, I'm gonna say it's Cleet Thompson Francis. They are a listing agent. Their phone number, you know, I just stick, stick, stick it in from right move. And you'll, this will come apparent why I, I stole this little information now. Uh, their email address, blah, blah, blah. Um, their physical address. Um, and it just will become apparent why I start from the beginning because when you get a database as big as ours, uh, then you'll be able to see why it's so important to, to have that. Uh, and then these, these tabs become important. So, so that's the first thing I do. Okay, the next thing I'm doing. Well, just so you know, the only, the only screen we can see is that is the right mean page. So I don't know if you're flicking between that and Airtable. Oh, yeah, okay. I wonder why it's done that. Um, I'm asking it to be able to show them both to you at the same time, but it's not. Oh, I'll tell you what I should be able to do. Um, I should be able to flick between the two. Okay. Airtable. Yeah. And then if I, so if I'm on Airtable and you guys are seeing that, can you then now see right move? No. Wow. Oh, this is a, this is a pain in the ass. Um, okay. That's not, that doesn't matter. Um, the, the point is that we'll stay on Airtable. Uh, so um, in another window, guys, I've got my I've got my right move open. I'm looking at a property, but this is what I just filled out. What I just showed you about, right? On my Airtable base, I've filled in my contact tab, and I'm filled in the contact for the listing agent that I'm now going to call to book that property in. So I've put in my information. I'm now going to give them a call, right? And then I'm going to flip to my listings, and I'm going to put in here the information of the house that I'm going to go that I want to go and see. So um, I'm going to put in the address, okay? The listing status is the property is currently on the market. The next step for me to do in that is to view the property. Where I found this from, uh, agent, uh, and then who that agent is. Now this here, this tab, guys, very cleverly is linked to my contacts tab. So where you see here, I just entered in that contact details. 
under the listing of that property, I can now link it to Cleet Thompson's, okay? I then also put in the asking price, and then a good sourcing agent or a good property investor probably does a bit of market research before they go and view properties, okay? So I'm gonna say I've done my research and they're asking 420,000 pound, but a top value for this property maybe is 475,000 pound. Okay, and then the rest of the tabs, I'm not too worried about. They're going to become apparent later. What I'm going to do now is I'm on the phone to this agent and I'm saying, yes, I love that property on Wern Road. Um, it's on the market. My next step is to view it. Can I book a viewing, please? And they say, why? Well, yes, of course you do. So if you look on my tabs at the top there, I've got this little one, activities, which is a calendar. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to the listing and I've made, I've linked it to the listing, if you go across over here, you can see activities. So I'm on the phone to the agent, she says, would you like to view it? I say, yes, I would love to view it. And uh, what time and date can I view it, please? So I'm gonna add that link in. So again, I can link that viewing to that agent. Um, she's gonna say, you're gonna view it today. You're gonna view it at 7.41 p.m. tonight, right now. The activity type is a viewing and the activity owner so um, these are obviously everyone who can kind of share the space with us at the minute. So let's say, um, and, and the reason why John and I have this is because we sometimes book each other viewings or our virtual assistant books our viewings. So if, my, if I go in here and I select, okay, Adam Garland as the activity owner and I save this, he's gonna be notified by email that there's been a viewing book for him. Um, and th that's how cool this is. Uh, and then that's all I do, okay? That viewing is now booked. If you actually jump to the activities tab, what you would see there is you can see now on the diary, there's a viewing booked for tonight at 7.41 p.m. with Klee. And if you expand that record, you can see all, oh, you can see it's with Klee. You can also see which property it is and so on. Okay, so that's one step there. Um, let me just check where I am, but I wanted to share with you. Now, okay, so I've added the activity. Now what I wanted to do, guys, is I want to flip to showing you where this magic really comes into the software and how I get the most out of it. So what you should be able to see in a second is my phone. Okay, can you see my phone, John? Yep. Okay, so now guys, um, I'm on my phone and you can see I've got my application Airtable and I'm actually gonna go into my base where I've booked my viewing. And um, on the activities pane, if I scroll right down to the bottom, you can see, look at that, a viewing booked, uh, especially for tonight with Klee uh, for us, okay? So now what I do is, when I'm in the property, okay, I open up my Airtable and I go to the viewing that I'm currently on and I click on it, and I'm now walking around the property with this open. And why I do that is because I've got this little thing here called link to refurbishment calculator where i added in a whole bunch of costs to this database as i was, as I was going along so as i'm walking on the property i might say uh, it needs to be replastered so let's say it's going to replaster the full property um, let's say it needs a new boiler conversion you know and i'm walking around oh goodness of course we're going to we're going to fully carpet and floor the property do you know what as well you know paint and decorate the um fully internal of the property so as i'm going around i'm just adding these things as i'm looking them to my as i'm looking them and the next beauty thing is you've got this little part at the bottom with a little camera for attachments and you can actually as you're walking around the property you can actually just take yourself some pictures okay add it to the use the photo uh, and i don't know if you like me but I've, i'm sick of having a camera roll just loaded with property images as you're the kind of person who goes around viewing properties because I have just got a camera roll absolutely loaded, loaded, loaded with property images. Uh, but what this does is now I can actually keep, as you can see, I can keep my photos linked to that specific listing. It doesn't clog up my camera roll, you know? So as I'm walking around the property, I'm taking photographs and they're linking it to that listing. And the beauty is when I've got this little refurbishment calculator, as you can see, it's tallying up the costs of the refurbishments. So, so much work is happening for me just by using this software, by a bit of preemption beforehand that I don't need to go back and sit down and work out. I don't need to go back and sit down and work out exactly what the refurb costs are gonna be. Because as a property investor, guys, remember all I'm doing is I am actually simply um, uh, giving a, getting to work out what a, what a 
uh, estimate build cost would be so I can later run my numbers to put in accurate offers on these properties. So that's the magic of what it comes to being actually using the phone. The good thing about it as well is while, while using the phone, I don't know if you've ever had like a, you rock up to a, to a, um, a viewing and um, you sit outside and no one's there. And you think, oh, flip, which agent was this booking with? You know, you've got to pull up your diary uh, uh, and to find out which, which agent it was with, whatever. But on Airtable, again, what you can do is you can quickly just go onto the viewing. You can click on the contact. And then right there, there's a little phone button. And you can actually dial them straight from the app. So no having to sift through your diary trying to find out exactly which agent it was for what viewing you were supposed to be at. It's all available right there in the application and all you had to do for that was actually set it up nicely from the beginning in your Airtable sheet like this. So remember all I did was I entered my contacts details, I put the listing in, I put the act and then made the activity. Okay. And remember in the activity guys, if I go back to my desktop, now what you'll be able to see is over here, it tallies up all of the refurbishments and the reason it did that is because I have this little refurbishments calculator tab and all I've done here is over the duration of my property journey as things have cost money I've averaged that costing out and put it in here so that I can be more accurate on understanding my refurbishment calculations as I'm going around doing properties um, and this is all in the spreadsheet for you guys to take away you just remember these are average costings for down here in South Wales you might want to uh, edit this to suit your area but it might be able to be worked for you. So that is the first part that I use uh, in there. And I'll show you um, our base uh, as to what it, what it really starts looking like when you're really getting into it. You can see the amount of listings that, that we've got in here. You know, um, uh, these, these properties are currently all subject to contract at the minute, you know, and um, every single one of these, if you go to our activities tab, if I just bump, uh, look back at, uh, last month um, you can see there there's my viewing days on Fridays and you can see that on that day I was viewing with Peter Allen if I expand that record um, there's the property I went to see actually uh, let's look and see if there's a better one um, where it's got all the photographs in it that I took around the property um, on that day and not clubbing up my camera roll also, all the refurbishments that that property needed came to 20,700 pound, all just hunky-dory, living list, lovely next to the listing. So then what I would do after, I've, um, after I have uh, done that viewing, I'd go back to that listing and I would say that the status is still on the market. My next step is to, um, is to offer on that property. And that would drop it into my office tab. And then all I do is I start working out all the information and start filling it here. And then the next thing that I do, guys, very clearly, say I have now offered on that property. I've made an offer. Okay. The next thing that I do is I have to put in there that I need to follow that offer up. And the way that I do that is magically I use my activities tab again. I add another activity to remind myself in two weeks time related contact of course is clear that in two weeks time from today I need to off I need to follow up that offer the activity owner let's say it's Adam again and I close that if I go to my activities tab in two weeks time my phone is gonna ping and remind me that I need to follow up that offer um, so how cool is that right that is how I never miss something. I never miss the ability to follow up something uh, with the software because every time I get off the phone to an agent, I've got the listing in front of me and I then update that listing criteria. So this one would be now follow up. Um, and then that's the say that that stays the exact same. So if I show you um, mine and John's again, what it kind of looks like when it starts getting a bit busy. Um, is uh, you can see that um, it gets a bit busy with uh, all the properties that you've got on the market. You know, all these listings, we, we literally have thousands of listings in here. Uh, and then um, all the properties we still want to view uh, on offer and, and so on, you know, it, it, gets, it gets really, really busy. And you can see how, how good I stay on my follow-up 
I've only got three properties left in my follow-up because I never miss them. I always put them in my diary and when they come up, I just follow them up. For some reason, if I can't get hold of them, I just change the activity tab to a new date and stick it in the next one to follow up. You never ever miss a follow up. In the property business, I guarantee you uh, that um, your money or your, your winnings in your property investment or journey is gonna come through your follow ups, being able to actually follow them up and get them in. You know, that we, we have so much more properties offers accepted when we actually kick in our follow up routine. And we follow up and I'm still following our properties that have been in the market six months to a year. You know, we, we follow them up all, all the time. Okay. So that's what I want to show you there. Okay. The next thing, so that's, that's the property viewings part, right? You can create a listing, you can create an activity, you can get that activity open on your phone when you're in the property and you can keep all your stuff beautifully in one place and you can never miss a follow up. So I've shown you that. The next thing I want to show you is how I manage the client side of my business. So, Let's um, uh, say now that um, uh, John uh, is going to be my client, okay? So I'm going to put, put John's information in here, right? Uh, what is he? What contact type is he? Let's say he is a, a buyer, okay? John is going to be a client of mine. He's going to be a buyer. Um, stick his phone number in, stick his email in, and stick his address in. Okay, so I've put John into, into the contacts tab. Now, I want to move John from my contacts tab to my clients tab. This is where I want him to become important because this is where I change his priority. So what I do here is I go back to my contacts on John. I go to my client uh, link that I created and I create a record for John in my clients tab. And John's business, I think, is called Stoco Limited. See, there's a differentiation between a client and a contact. John Stoco is a contact, but the client might be his company. His priority, and I just change these things now to track my clients. And this is something that you might use. You, you can change these to be whatever you want. And let's say for me, John, I'm going to put them as a priority one client. And what I've done there is I say AML tick. That means it's anti-money laundering tick in the box. John is cleared, good, and ready to buy properties. And then I give him a status. What am I doing for him right now? I'm actually either listing, finding listings for him. I'm touring. I've, he's made an offer. I'm closing a deal. He's closed. He's pulled out. Let's say we're trying to find John a deal. And then this part is we have client owners. So say Sarah, one of our sourcing agents, she, she um, brings on a client. And then she's the client owner for John. So I name it there. So I can always link those people. Now Sarah would get a notification in the email to say she's been made the client owner. And that part's now done. I've now got a client record growing over here. Okay. Uh, and then this is where the magic happens. Say I now go back to my listing. Okay. This property, I followed up my offer and it's offer accepted. So I'm going to change that to close the deal. I'm going to change that, that that is subject to contract to us. Brilliant. The next thing I do is I need to sell this to one of my clients. How do I track which client is with which deal? I go to my deals tab and I'm going to create a new deal here. Okay. The deal owner is going to be, uh, let's make it me. The deal stage is going to be that the um, closing in progress because John is going to be doing his work. The listing, as you know, it's that property there. Then this is the magic happens. It, I'm going to bring in the client. Okay. So now what I've done is I've created ability to track my deals. I'll show you, what this looks like when that gets a bit more busy. Okay. So this is John and my um, deals tab here. And you can see we've got a lot on the go at the moment. So we've got, we've even got a lovely affected by COVID-19. So you can see we've got 16 properties where, where vendors have pulled out because of COVID-19. We've been having a tough time. Uh, we've got nine properties that we managed to complete on. We've got 17 properties that were in building stage. And the thing about all of these is um, uh, the, the good part of this is that we got, you can still go back to an old listing. We can see who the client was, who the agent was, where the property is, what the address is, and we always still keep a way to track our current deals. So hopefully that is also shared value to you guys there, how you can use the software to get to track your current progress as well. All, all, all in one place, all accessible from your phone, your tablet, whatever it is you like to use. Okay. 
um, and now I've shown you that. So um, John is tracking the, the comments, guys. If you have any questions, you can, you can drop in there. So just to let you know that John is tracking, is, what, is following the chat. If you have any questions you want to drop in. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you was how I am, um, once I've done all of that, that's just the CRM managing my contacts and managing my clients uh, and managing my deals is what happens when I'm now moving to a, a management stage when I'm actually running a, running a property refurbishment. And I use this when I'm doing my own property refurbishments. And I also use it when I'm, when I'm running refurbishments for clients. And I've created a new base um, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, and I'm actually going to show you how I use that. So um, you should be able to now see a base called Carl and Emma Argyle Street. So this is a base that I use to track a property refurbishment. And I'm going to show you how I use it. At the top, I've got four tabs. I've got the spend tracker, tracking the money. I've got a schedule of works. Okay. I have got an admin, a task. And I've also got a little tab for a power team. So starting at the top here, um, I've got a spend tracker and you can see exactly what um, this property uh, was spent on. You can see here is what all the clients put on the money they put on account. And then here is where I'm tracking what I'm paying out to all my builders. And you can see just, it's so, so, so simple to use. You just pretty much have, uh, um, you can even, uh, what I do is I track it like this. I pay the amounts I paid them what the contract was for, what the property, I paid it, the date I paid it, who paid it. And then also I attach my invoices to the end. So when it actually comes down to the beauty about this software, when it actually comes down to exporting a, uh, uh, a spreadsheet to my accountant, I just export and send. And she's got absolutely everything she needs in one place. So that's how I use the spend tracker. You can, you can see here exactly, you know, you can, you can account for everything. And it's, it's just like a live script sheet. You know, and I give, I give everything the split between materials and contractor wages so I can track uh, kind of more closely what it likes. And, and this will be a busy spreadsheet um, one because it's a build that I, that I manage myself. Sometimes I don't have a spreadsheet this busy. I'll show you one that's not this busy um, because I've got a contractor managing it for me. And then what I do as well is I have a schedule of works tab and I use this with, with the builders. So here I write down the schedule of works. I put who that's been assigned to that's going to cover it. We've worked out the estimated cost for that. And then we also just, I just track it that way. Once the rip has been done, it starts to complete it. And then what I usually do as well is I actually have a little actual costs tab down here as well. So as you're running through a refurbishment, it's really, really, really useful to know at the end what something was planned to cost and what it actually costs because you can start getting your numbers way, way better moving forward. And then you can track that through this, through this tablet as well. Over this side on admin tasks, over here, um, I've got um, the ability just to um, just give people tasks. Uh, so say, say I had a job for, for John. So over here, um, say um, I'm working today. John's away on, uh, on our playing golf with, with a client, um, which is his absolute favorite thing to do. Uh, and, I'm, and I need to give John a task. So I would say John needs to, needs to call Plum Center. Okay. I can put that in there. I can choose the property that it's for. I can um, then assign, oh, okay, John's actually not in the spreadsheet, but I could actually add John as a, as a collaborator to the spreadsheet and I can assign it. For this case, I'll assign Jenny the task. Um, now, what would happen is um, that would then notify Jenny on her phone that she needs to call Plum Center and I can put in notes, you know, find out where my um, radiator is. And that's why I love this worksheet because it's collaborative working. You can work with your entire team and not have to be there at the same time. You can leave tasks for people. You know it gets notified. They get a notification on their phone. They get an email which says there's been a task assigned to you and you can go and do it. I'm going to delete that so poor Jenny doesn't ring Plum Center tomorrow and ask them about radiators um, because that is live. This is a live spreadsheet. Okay. And then obviously I have a power team here. Now this, this um, I set up. And um, because sometimes you've got different contractors working on different projects and you can just put this in here, you know, you can put, um, you can put like Wayne and his role would be the architect, you know, um, what is, what is traders, his contact details is confirmed. And I keep that kind of going um, for a specific project. If, it, if it's a big project where I need to track the power team. So everyone's contact details can all be in one place. And then also guys, this I have, um, let me just show you one that's like less complicated. I'll show you one of mine and John's 
because we've got we've got a um, different contractor who runs our own stuff um, and um, let me show you what a more basic one looks like Jeez, we've got a lot of deals on the go John um, personal project tractor port call this is one we've just finished off so you can see here a much um, simpler spreadsheet tracker and all it's done is I'm going to sort it um, all it's done is a very very simple spreadsheet tracker you know, I've done everything, how much we've um, paid out, how much has been paid in, uh, and then also all of our costs linked. And the beauty is every, every invoice attached to that. So, so simple that it's, um, it's you, you work as you go in the software. And then when it comes time for the accounting side of things, all you have to do is go export, send to accountant, and she's got everything or he's got everything they need, who they paid, how much they paid them, the date they paid them, what the invoice was for all tracked all tracked over here okay so that is um really really useful stuff okay so that is what i wanted to show you guys um this evening and hopefully that has been um valuable to you um now there where is it there it is we um I um, have got some links for you guys, but what is going to happen is Emma is going to send out a, an email after this, which is going to have all of the, um, the links to this Airtable. And if you'd be ever much obliged to actually um, click the link that we send you to sign up to Airtable, because it does give us a referral credit, which then unlocks more capabilities on the software for us. For example, we are this close to being able to unlock Gantt charts. Yeah, we can use Gantt charts in this, pro in this software to track projects, um, which is awesome. And um, so please, guys, if you, if you did enjoy what we had to share with you this evening, you think you would like to get Airtable, wait to get the email, which will have a link in it, and then click that link to go through to Airtable to get a referral. Also, if you don't click that link. The most important thing is it's free. Yeah, yeah, it's free. Yeah, yeah, it's free. But also, if you don't click that link, you won't get uh, the base that um, I've designed. So the thing about Airtable is that that base, the, the property projects base and the business base, I actually built those because the Airtable, it's just a piece of software which allows you to build these spreadsheets yourself. So I built that property one. So if you don't get the link from us, you won't get that spreadsheet, okay, that I've already built for you. That's got all the links in it. That's got all the links to your calendars. It's got everything all linked in it already. I've already designed that. So just wait for your link to come in the email and you'll actually get um, that link there, that base there that'll be able to you'll be able to start um, using it yourself and start building your property business through, through Airtable too. So um guys um if you enjoyed kind of like what it is we're doing and what we've got to share at the minute and, and, and interested potentially in getting into property yourself um and wanting to know more is we do uh, actually plan to actually have our next property course on the 27th and 28th of june um we are we are still actually not um planning on going ahead with this course but this is our physical course which is going ahead in june and we're still going to wait and see kind of how, how things turn out. It's, it's going to kind of still, still unknown at the minute. But um, we have um, at the minute decided that we are going to start canvassing our group, canvassing our network to see if people would like uh, a virtual course. Today is the last day. It is today is the last day you can register, isn't it, John? With today is the last day that you can actually register to show an interest if you would like a virtual course. Uh, what we're going to be doing uh, is we are going to be uh, live streaming in, in HD. We're going to be using Zoom like you're on now to share and do such cool things. We're going to create WhatsApp groups for the team to be able to discuss and ask questions in the middle of the events and actually feel like part of a table or part of a group. Uh, we're going to have follow-up phone calls. We'll be able to get in touch with me and John and the rest of the team. Uh, and we're also going to use things, apps like House Party to have meetups in the evenings, to have a virtual pint and, uh, and go over what you've learned that day and just chat and create great rumors as much as we can benefit from the awesome tech that we actually have available to us now. So what are we doing? What does our virtual course look like? Well, we've decided that people need to know the four pillars of property sourcing, the fundamentals that can allow you as soon as the lockdown is lifted and you can get out and start viewing properties, that you can actually source properties legally. Everything that you need to know to go and start a property sourcing business. And we've actually managed to compact the four pillars into four two-hour sessions. And those are 
module one, which is finding the deal, module two, which is securing pricing and packaging, module three is selling the deal, and module four is a business structure and essential compliance, okay? And we are gonna run this course for 149 pound if we get the right level of interest, okay? So if you are interested in becoming a property, professional property sourcer, getting everything ready now during lockdown to make the most of what we know is gonna be an amazing market uh, because there's gonna be a lot of good deals out there, um, then we are list asking for you guys to register your interest. The way you can do that is by, and I'm just gonna grab a link, and the way you guys can do that is just by jumping onto um, uh, is we've got a link uh, where you guys can um, go and uh, register your interest. And I'm just going to drop it into the chat because it's going to be a lot easier um, just to copy the link in there. Um, and then you guys can just go and, um, and share and register your interest. Let's go. Where is chat? Okay, so I put a link in the chat, guys. Um, and if you want to click that link, um, Emma will also send it out in, a, in, a, in an email afterwards uh, so that you guys can actually check that. Um, and that's, that's what we're doing, guys. We are going to be just want to be uh, checking if we're going to register your interest, if you'd be interested in uh, knowing and coming to know more. Um, so um, let me see. Why am I sending? Oh, I sent, it, I sent the link privately to someone for some reason. So you should be able to see a link now in the chat screen. Um, and guys, uh, hopefully that was valuable. Uh, it's something a bit different tonight. Uh, and maybe if anyone can share some thumbs up or nice or yes or happy days that everything was good and was valuable on the air table this evening. Uh, we, are, we are here back again next Wednesday to deliver some more property training. Um, but um, it'll be cool to see if you can uh, make use. And remember, please wait for, El, uh, for Emma's link uh, uh, to come through an email. Uh, because uh, that will have the links in it where you can get um, that property base that I created. And you can duplicate it for yourself and start using it straight away. And it's absolutely free. Um, so um, I'm going to uh, ask Emma to pop that email out to you guys very soon so you can get going. Um, yeah, thanks for the comments, guys, to say superb. Thanks to say that it's good. Um, thank you very, very much. Good info. Thanks. Um, and that's bang on time. My countdown time is telling me I've got two minutes and 24 seconds left. John, um, you've been um, quietly supportive in the background tonight. Um, uh, do you have anything to add? <laughs> uh, um, Danielle asked, because uh, obviously we know it and we understand it inside and out, and we are accelerated in times. You know, on the course, we take a long time to go through this because it is vitally important. Um, Danielle's question was, are we going to share this video uh, so she can digest it slowly in bite-sized chunks uh, later on because the, the info in there is, is really good? Or should we, because I know we do have a, a YouTube video, do we want to share Actually, that? Or I'll, I'll, ask, video? I'll ask Emma to add in the YouTube video link that we did a while ago. Now, Danielle, it's very rough and ready, the old YouTube video. I think I did it a year ago, two years ago. Um, so, <laughs> but it does have, um, have more information in it that you can digest a bit more slightly to get your head around using Airtable. Um, that's, that's sure. And then also, guys, if you don't already have me and John on social media, look us up on Facebook. I'm Roger Tiger Burrows. That's John Stoko. We're pretty sociable people. We, are, we don't watch TV. We sit on our phone and connect with our, with our, with our students and connect with our mates. Uh, in the evening so you're always welcome to ask us i'm more than happy to, to help someone out if they want to get rocking on it so guys we're going to be killing the call now um, and please um i hope that was valuable and please come back next week uh, emma's going to send out details we'll be back on webinar jam next week and we'll have some more um hopefully some really cool property stuff to share with you guys okay well good to see you and catch up with you next week cheers all